It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Just ask Ryan Terry. After the first round of the 57th Daikin Spirit of America Golf Classic, he was in 18th place. After the second round, he was tied for 14th, and after the third, he was tied for 8th. Despite starting the fourth and final round one over par, he found a way to win it all. The leader started at 5 under, so I figured if I could shoot 6 under for the day, that would get me at least where they started, and they'd have to shoot under par today to you know, be ahead of me. Um, I did one better than that, so um, yeah, it was a good round for sure. When the final round teed off at Burning Tree Country Club this morning, all eyes were on the final pairing of Eric Boutwell, Justin Burroughs, and Hunter Battles. The group started the day strong, but Terry turned it up a notch, shooting a 64. The former Lipscomb golfer came off the course in the lead, but had to wait nearly two hours to find out if he won, as thunderstorms pushed the final pairings off the course for over an hour. Several golfers, including Battles, Boutwell, and Burroughs, were just strokes out of the lead when the sirens sounded, but Terry had no reason to panic as no one could match his score at 6-under. Yeah, it's a good feeling for sure. I mean, uh, anytime you're not in the last group, you got a little bit of a wait if you post a score and are, are in the lead, um, but waiting about two hours with a little rain delay and the lead just having a few holes left was definitely a little bit more of a sweat than I would like, but it's a, also a good position to be in where felt like I had posted a number and the other guys kind of had to come chase and it was going to be, they were going to have to play some good golf to catch it, so uh, it feels good for sure. Terry says this is an event he's always wanted to win and with his first title coming more than a decade after his debut, it means a lot to him. It's a term I've played for a lot of years. I think I think it was 2011, the first year I came down here. I was a, after my freshman year of college and uh, every year I'd come down and play in the college event with a couple of my teammates and so just a place I have a lot of good memories of playing with those guys and doing that over the years and then just the, the family and friends that I've met down here, the Sheltons and, and just a lot of really nice members that just kind of made it feel like a kind of second home here. So it's definitely been an event I wanted to you know do well in for a while. Finishing just one stroke behind him was Muscle Shoals native Hunter Battles, the only golfer to shoot under par in every single round. I mean, obviously it stinks coming in second. Um, going in today, I definitely wanted to you know end the day on the top of the leaderboard, but I learned some things that are invaluable to me because there's nothing like being under the gun, especially in a tournament atmosphere. So I live like an hour away in Muscle Shoals, so it's nice to come down here and I have a lot of friends and family, but also it's nice to get under the gun, really. I mean, I, I was nervous for most part of the day just because I haven't been in a situation like this that much. So it's uh, it's nice to you know have a good finish here. It stings not winning, but you know we had a blast today and it was nice to get nervous and uncomfortable.